Street Fighter 6 had a huge announcement, and Mortal Kombat 1 had a huge leak. Welcome back to ETN, and to the news. The show where each and every Sunday, I bring updates from going on the world of fighting games. My AC is out, but the news waits for no one. Starting off with some of the biggest Mortal Kombat news since the release of the game. Borderline confirmation that Ghostface is coming to MK1. And I say borderline, because Ash Williams got a tease directly from NetherRealm Studios themselves, and we still didn't get them. Recently, Mortal Kombat 1 got a Melina voiceover announcer pack, and with that pack came some data mining, and this data miner found gold. As in this voice pack, there is Melina, plain as day, saying the name Ghostface, not once, but twice. Ghostface. Ghostface. So it seems that, more than likely, we're going to be getting Ghostface in Mortal Kombat 1. After a year plus of leaks, speculation, and hearsay, we finally have our first concrete piece of evidence that he, she, they are coming to the game. Keep in mind, nothing is true until we see it in motion. Ash Williams, Michael Myers, Jade were all leak confirmed and turned out to not come to their respective games. So. We'll have to wait and see. There were some other things in this leak, including the tease of the return of Mercy. So make sure you tune in tomorrow, Monday, for my full extensive breakdown of what this leak entails. Are you excited for Ghostface in Mortal Kombat 1? Let me know. And just a thought, Xbox just announced that there's a new Doom game coming. And so if NRS wanted to put Doom Guy into a Mortal Kombat game, well... EVO 2024 is approaching rapidly. And right now, literally now, on Sunday, the EVO Europe Finals and Regional Qualifiers are going on Saturday, June 8th, which was yesterday. They had the Guilty Gear Strive and Street Fighter 6 qualifiers. And today, June 9th, they've got the Mortal Kombat 1 and Tekken 8 qualifiers. EVO will be taking place July 19th through the 21st in Las Vegas, Nevada, and will be featuring eight different fighting games. And we're topping off with some Street Fighter 6 news, as during Summer Games Fest, we got a huge announcement. That being SF6's Season Pass 2, which contains the first ever out-of-house guest characters, as in people outside of a Capcom property, being Terry Bogart and Mai Shirinui from SNK. You may recognize them from King of Fighters and Fate of Fury, and if you don't recognize them, well, welcome to Planet Earth. I'm honored that this video was the first piece of D-game media you decided to consume. In addition, we've also got the return of Street Fighter's favorite dancer, Elena, and the dictator is back! Or is he? He looks like him, talks like him, fights like him, but... Do I resemble this man you call Bison? I shall take that name for myself. There's definitely some more implications there. To complement his announcement, they also released the M. Bison gameplay reveal trailer, and he's got a horse, and he looks cool. So there we have it. SF6 Season Pass 2 will have Bison, Terry, Elena, and Mai in that order. But don't expect to be playing with your favorite waifu anytime soon, as the dates are Summer 2024, hey, Autumn 2024, not bad, Spring 2025, a little far off, Winter 2025 for Mai Shiranui, over a year away. That release schedule also implies that there will be Two DLC characters total added to Street Fighter VI in the year 2025. So the next time that somebody complains to you about the, oh, the slow release of DLC in Mortal Kombat 1, show them this image. And here I am crying into my boxing gloves because we haven't seen my boy Dudley in over 12 years. Hashtag just for Dudley. And that's everything for this week. Thank you very much for tuning into ETN and to the news. Next week, I hope to have my ACE fixed. Until then, bye.